A search and rescue operations in quake hit Haiti are over. Uh, according to the U.N., international rescue teams reportedly managed to save 132 lives, including two people who were left trapped for 10 days after the tragedy. Emergency teams are now switching to getting food, water and medical supplies to survivors. Over 100,000 people were killed by last week's earthquake, with 2 million made homeless. The island has also reportedly been flooded by private security companies. NRT contributor Wayne Madsen says their presence brings more danger than security. Obviously, there's always a need for basic security, but when we see companies like uh, Blackwater Z pushing to go into a situation, they have very dismal records on human rights in other countries they've operated. And they also showed up in New Orleans after Katrina uh, as a sort of vigilante force. So uh, uh, there, there's very little uh, oversight for these com uh, companies when they arrive on a scene because of, in some cases they have very close connections with the military, with the intelligence and whatnot. It's bad for Haiti if these uh, private military contractors are allowed to come in willy-nilly and start uh, just uh, doing the same things we've seen them do elsewhere. We know about their track record in places like Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, wantonly killing civilians on the street. That's the last thing a country like Haiti needs right now. They've had too many deaths, and the last thing they need is a bunch of these gun-toting uh, cowboys coming in there, uh, threatening people and shooting people. And Venezuelan leader Hugo Chavez has once again accused the United States of playing God. But this time it's Haiti's disastrous earthquake that he thinks the U.S. was behind. Spanish newspaper ABC quotes Chavez as saying that the U.S. Navy launched a weapon capable of inducing a powerful earthquake off the shore of Haiti. He adds that this time it was only a drill and the final target is destroying and taking over Iran. The existence of a tectonic weapon has never been proved, but its use is often suspected by conspiracy theorists. For example, the leader of Georgia's Green Party, accused Russia of being behind an earthquake on Georgian territory in 2002. In 1983, I did radio tomography with 30 watts, looking for oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine-state area, and 100% of the time was accurate with just 30 watts of power beaming straight into solid rock. HARP uses a billion watts beam straight into the ionosphere for experiments. Picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth. Each one has its own frequency. What we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground. We might get a sound back like and we'd say that's natural gas. We might get a sound back like and we say that's crude oil we were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that could even cause an earthquake. The United Nations says it will work to not only rebuild Haiti, but also provide a better life for the millions of survivors in the third world country. At a news conference with the UN Special Envoy to Haiti, Bill Clinton Secretary General Ban Ki-moon promised the Haitian people a more prosperous life. They need the water, food, the shelter and all these basic needs. They need a better future. Uh, they need a better future and permanent job, work, with a dignity. Mr Clinton will oversee the redevelopment in the years ahead and will work with the Haitian government. The government will want to have new building standards so that the buildings they rebuild are more hurricane and earthquake resistant. But they may also be able to do what's being done in the lower ninth ward and at lower cost build more energy efficient buildings using all kinds of different materials that are handy to them that will <clears throat> encourage better sanitation, less deforestation, a lot of other things. This is an opportunity there. This is an opportunity there.
is going to go down in history as one of the biggest screw-ups, perhaps even criminally negligent uh, deliveries of aids of, of aid that there there has ever been. I mean, here we had a situation the president promised the people of Haiti, "We are there. We are coming. We are going to help you." And then. What happened? What they call a bottleneck happened at the airport in Port-au-Prince. The supplies came in, but they never left the airport. It was totally disorganized. It was totally uncoordinated. There seems to be no one responsible uh, for anybody, anything, no one accountable. I mean, the first plane to land in Haiti, I think I'm right, came from China, not even from Florida. And they came all the way around the world. Uh, there are do Cuban doctors have been on the ground there. They're very barely covered, OK? Uh, many Many others in the, in the world that are delivering services have not gotten a lot of coverage. The American media tends to focus on Americans responding, you know, with a great deal of compassion. Uh, we want to be seen as saviors. We want to be seen seen as generous. A uh, hundred million dollars has been raised for the uh, for the Red Cross in America, but the International Red Cross says this is a catastrophe. And this is something which is shameful. It's shameful for the United Nations. It's shameful for the American government. It's shameful Shameful for the Obama administration. And this only airport in Port-au-Prince has virtually become a military base for the United States. We're learning that uh, the U.S. military on the ground has been diverting planes that are coming from not the U.S., that are coming from other countries. There was an incident when it, when it, where a French plane was diverted from landing in, in Port-au-Prince and was asked to come, day, to come back a day later. We also know that at this airport, U.S. troops have been uh, giving priority to American citizens to be evacuated first. And this, is, of course, has been uh, a, co a cause of major criticism on the ground. Uh, reports suggest that large parts of the aid that come in to this airport remain within the airport's peri perimeter and are not reaching the destinations. This is an opportunity there. This is an opportunity there.